We are done. Yeah. Yeah. The recently enacted health care reform bill makes major changes to our nation's health care system. But as it turns out, it's going to make major changes in other seemingly unrelated businesses as well. Example, starting in 2012, if you own a small business, you will be dealing with a veritable tsunami of additional paperwork. I'm talking about this form. It's a 1099. Maybe you've gotten one in the past. This form shows how much you've been paid when you work as an independent contractor or freelancer. Currently, any business paying someone more than 600 bucks a year is required to file one with the IRS. But starting in 2012, every single business from General Motors to that eBay business you're running in your garage is going to have to file one of these forms every time they spend 600 bucks or more on anything at all. Spend 600 bucks at Hilton? You're going to need to get their tax ID number and send them a 1099. Spend $600 at Office Depot? 1099. Buy new software? Send Microsoft a 1099. So why all the new paperwork? Well, the IRS estimates that Uncle Sam loses about $300 billion every year because people aren't paying taxes on all their income. Sending out these 1099s is supposed to help encourage all these businesses to do that. And what does all this have to do with health care reform? Simple. Congress figured this is a way to help pay for it. Bottom line, Uncle Sam's going to get richer from this probably, but businesses both big and small are going to be doing a lot more paperwork to make that happen. If you own a small business or work for one, you need more details, and I've got them. They're right here at MoneyTalksNews.com. I'm Stacy Johnson.